Repeated absences, bad attitude, insubordination. Surprised Myrtle wasn't fired sooner. No, look at these dates. All of these are within the last six months. What, she just goes 30 years without a single write-up and overnight gets bad at her job? Well, she was not great. No, I know she's been not great at her job for 30 years, so why all of a sudden is Glenn writing her up? It's not Glenn. Jeff Sutton, Jeff Sutton, Jeff Sutton. Since when does a district manager write up floor workers? We have to talk to Jeff. Thank you for meeting with us. Yeah, well, that's the beauty of the rideshare game. I go where I want, when I want. I meet tons of new people, and I get to listen to what's on their Spotify, and I love it, and I'm really, really loving it. Cool. That's cool. Can we talk about Myrtle? Yes. I'm sorry. OK, so um, there was a mandate to write up any employee over the age of 70 to give us a pretext for firing them. OK, it didn't matter for what. I once wrote Myrtle up for wearing gang colors and I know she's not a crip. Why would they do that? Old people are slower, they have higher medical costs. I was costs. asking Jeff. Um, that? So what you're saying is Myrtle is now out there collecting cans for coins because you needed to increase the bottom line. Look, that's just the corporate culture over there. It's the mindset. Anything's justified as long as it saves a dollar. Believe me, if there was something I could do to change that, I would. Well, maybe there is. Hi, are you Alejandro? No, sorry. Oh, sorry. Wrong car. So are you sure being stuffed in a box of styrofoam is safe? Yeah, it's totally safe. They've done studies. What kind of studies? OK, I'm going to chat up the security guard to distract him while you drive the forklift into the store. Um, I don't know how to drive a forklift. Maybe you could do it, and I could talk to the guard. You have zero charisma. How are you possibly going to chat up a guard? A little worried I might run out of oxygen in here. On it. Hey, no, wait, dude. There's your air holes, princess. Thank you. Hey, Lori. Um, I made up this seating chart for the meeting today. Um, I was going to do it in height order, but then it got really female heavy in the None so of this matters. I don't care where people sit. OK, wait, um, I have another question for you. Uh, are you a lesbian? People always ask, how do I get enough protein? Well, I got two words for you, beans and nuts. I always tell people, nuts about beans and a beans about nuts. <laughs> I mean, that second half doesn't mean anything, but it sounds like something. It's more of a rhythm thing, you know? Well, I think if you buy three packs of hot dogs and four packs of buns, you should have the right amount. All right. Thank you. Well, you know, I can't think of a better way to end than that. So I want to thank you for- No, wait, all... I have a question. Uh, oh, I, I guess we have time for one more. Oh, one last question, huh? Guess I better make it a good one then. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> how do... Oh, <laughs> Garrett says they're wrapping up. We gotta go. Let's go. Oh. I was born right here in St. Louis. And as you might know, St. Louis was originally established as a hub for river-based trade. What are you doing? Just telling Garrett we're hurrying. Well, don't text it. Just do the hurrying. Oh, Danny, boy, I love you so. And that was my great-great-grandfather. He's not relevant to this. Uh, I touched rat droppings. I need to wash my hands. There's no time. Just don't touch your face. No. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I want to do. So I'm 18, and I've woken up in Oaxaca covered in furs. You know what? Never mind. My question was about self-checkouts, and I just remembered you already answered it earlier. So I'm going to yield my time. Thank you. <clears throat> well, this has been great. I want to thank you all for Hold your... on. I've got a question. Look, I'm... I'm really glad to see all this excitement from our employees. Oh, I'm not an employee. It's me. <laughs> Jeff Sutton. <gasps> all right, I forgot for a second. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't. Jeff Sutton. I was a district manager before Lori. I worked with you for 12 years. At the counter, I got your latte that time, and you got my tea. 
You know what? It doesn't matter. It's not about me. It's about another former employee named Myrtle Vartanian. You know what? I, I, I think we're really out of time here. Oh, who's, who's Myrtle Vartanian? Myrtle is one of our more experienced employees who was unfortunately let go due to performance issues. Except it wasn't because of performance issues. Oh, Jeff Sutton. Well, of course I remember you. Always drinking tea. Yes, Jeff Sutton, that's me. What is this? What's happening? It's not good. <laughs> Myrtle. Yeah, Myrtle was an employee here. And you know Myrtle... what? If I could ever persuade you to come back to Cloud Nine, we could definitely use a guy like you in Chicago. Chicago? <laughs> hmm. Wow. No, that's Jeff. No, 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 no. no. Be. Yep. Anyway, you know what? I'm sorry. I interrupted you, didn't I? What were you saying about Myrtle? Myrtle was a gang member, and that's the reason we had to let her go. That's why you never trusted Jeff.